I'm Leon Harold, and I was fortunate enough to win the Futurity in 1974 on a mare called Doc's Jubilee, and in 87 on Smart Date. Well, the thing I remember most the first time on Jubilee was that I was 32 years old. It was very exciting, first time I'd ever been here, and the night was just, it was so exciting. I mean, it was just, you can't imagine, it's off the charts, you know to finally accomplish this. And uh, that's, that's one of the things I remember about it. It was just, it was just razzle dazzle, you know, after, after the contest was over. And uh, it, was just, it was just a blast. There's several, there's a lot of things that, that went on with uh, Smart Date in 87. First of all, uh, my greatest friend, and it was Shorty Freeman, and he had raised her. And uh, also he helped me in the facility that was the last time he was ever here at horseback. This mare's mother was uh, a full sister to the first mare I ever rode in the Futurity Smart Date, uh, Doc's Madonna, Doc's Lady Madonna, and uh, I'd done well on all those. And so I had a connection with this mare, you know? And all those things coming together on that night, it was pretty touching. Doc Shubalea, she was a Doc Bard mare out of a direct daughter of Leo, and a beautiful mare, beautiful sorrel mare, a little thoroughbred look to her, but very professional for a youngster, you know. Not a lot of personality, not a big people lover, but just always tried her heart out, give you everything. She was the same every day, and just continued on. It was very simple and fun to train, very athletic mare, you know. Smart date, complete different. She was wilder than, a Mount, than March Hare, you know, and uh, just all kinds of personality. When you walked in the barn, she was nickering, and uh, real wild mare to train. Took a lot of time, a lot of just patience and, and confidence, you know, to train this mare. But she was outstanding athlete, you know, and tied together with all the other nostalgia. I mean, she was very, very special. Well, I bought to Eubelea, off the Dock Bar Ranch in California and uh, started training her and she really didn't look like she was going to be anything super speci special. And uh, I had 16 Dock Bars in training that year and she just fit in there in like third, fourth and then about September here she came. You know she just, her confidence in her job, I mean she felt like an old horse. And she showed me right there that she was going to be competitive and easy to show. And so I chose her over the others. Uh, smart date. First time you ever cut a cow on her. That thing crossed her path. I mean, she just fell down and fluttered and just stayed there. And you knew right there that you had something really, really special to develop, you know. <clears throat> and it was not easy because she was so darn wild. She might get up going one way or the other, you know. But she showed right off the bat that she was really, really special, had all kinds of ability, you know. So just to train this mare through just confidence and poise, you know, you knew that she was going to get the job done. And uh, got, I bought her off of Shorty. So, you know, she was, she was really special. Winning the Futurity, it gives you confirmation in yourself and your abilities, you know that you can be the best in the world and you can be competitive with any peers going down the road. And it just gives you confirmation in, in your abilities and your choice for the livelihood that you've chosen, you know. And uh, I think that's, that, that's the biggest thing it, it, it did for me, you know. Helped your confidence, you know, and just said, I can do this, you know. This is, this is gonna be my life. After I left Futurity, I went to Oklahoma. And my dad and Uncle Hugh had bought two pool tables in Oklahoma City and hauled them to Leedy to help, to help a guy open a pool hall. Well, that pool hall was closed and I purchased two of those tables <laughs> and took them to California. <laughs> well, rumor has it that Will Rogers is a hard place to show in. I disagree, totally. I think Will Rogers is the best place in the world that you can possibly show. The grounds is as good as anywhere in the world, the best, best help, and the best cattle available for that time of year anywhere in the world. 
So I mean, you have all the elements set up for success. And and just, you know, that building alone, you know, the nostalgia in that building, I mean, it's you're set up for success if possible. But the way it's cattle, ground, help, you know, best judging system in the world. So I think it's the easiest place in the world to show and definitely the most fun, definitely. Changed my life. Well, I didn't want to, I didn't know if I was going to be a cutting horse guy or not, see. I wanted to be a veterinarian and a taxidermist. Either way, you got the cat back, see. <laughs> but anyway, I give that up and, uh, and uh, just, it just confirmed in me. This is what I'm, I'm, as much as I already loved it and stuff, I knew, but I mean, it just confirmed this is what you need to do. This is what you have fun doing. This is your life, you know. And uh, it is, it, it, the horses, the game, the people, all the people that you meet in this sport is unreal. And when you look back on it, you know, people say, well, what's the greatest thing about it? The greatest thing about it is the people you've met and the friendships and the bonds that you have put together through all the emirs, through this sport and through the cutting horse. It's amazing, absolutely amazing, you know. The best run I ever seen in the fraternity is to win the fraternity was, was Paul Hansma on, on Playboy McCray. It, it gave you everything and the preciseness, you know, there was no blemishes in that. It was exciting, it was correct, it was, it was perfect. And that, that run's always kind of stuck out in my mind, you know. The fraternity has changed, there's a lot of things that have changed, you know, of course, went from the three judges system to the five, which was a big thing. And, but the horses, we have such, so many, many great horses who like to play this game, you know. And uh, that's, that's a big key. And the other thing is uh, the young trainers we have, and you know, of course everybody's younger than me, but that have come along and they didn't have to go through trial and error like we did in our day. You know, nobody wanted to teach you. Tom Lyons and I came along with the videos in 81, 82, along there, and then other people got on. So these young men could come along and uh, look at these videos, see how to do these things, and then they've, all, they've tweaked it a little bit themselves and stuff. But we have a lot of very, very talented trainers now. A lot more than used to, you know, we had two big ends, the high and the low. But now then, across the board, we've got a lot of good horses. It can be, anybody that gets to that in those finals, it can be their night, you know. And that's the fun part.